Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and welcome to what is perhaps the most anticipated video I have ever done on the channel. So we are of course about to get ourselves into another friendly challenge battle guys, this time my clan mates are about to take on the serpent. This is one of the most insane troll bases I have ever made. I was inspired by my uh, my fellow Clash YouTuber, Jasu. I will link his channel in the description box down below, guys. So this is the serpent. It is an amazing troll base. Everyone who attacks this base must hit from the arrow right there. They have got to make their way all the way up to the top, guys, where the eagle artillery is, all the way down the side, and then, of course, around and through the end of the serpent. Now, these are the rules. There are no jump spells allowed, no earthquakes allowed, and everyone must attack from the arrow. If they manage to make it all the way to the last air defense, they will win themselves a $50 gift card. Of course, it is not that simple, guys. Along the way, they have to deal with spring traps, big bombs, all of the defenses, and of course, the four expos and the defending clan castle sitting right in the center. This is definitely the favorite troll base I have ever made on this channel. So make sure you stay tuned. We are about to get ourselves into some awesome live action. Is anybody going to be able to beat this base? So one quick announcement before we do get into the first friendly challenge. Do not forget we are approaching 700,000 subscribers and we are giving away 10 $25 gift cards for iTunes, Android and PayPal. So if you want the chance to win one of those 10 gift cards, all you need to do is leave a like right now on this video to show some support to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and of course the videos we do on a daily basis. Now there is a link in the description box guys. Hit the link and you'll be entered into the giveaway. So we're about to get ourselves into the first challenge. They are only allowed one attack each. There is going to be a consistent amount of attacks on this base. I'm not sure how long this episode is actually going to be but it's definitely going to be a longer one than usual. But make sure you stay tuned guys. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So let's get ourselves into the first challenge and of course one go each. So here we go first challenge coming up one go each and there are some defending bowlers inside of the clan castle. So let's see who's going to be the first person to take it on and the first attacker is going to be war sniper. Now remember every single one of them must attack from this arrow if they make it all the way to where that last air defense is they will win themselves a $50 gift card so check it out two golems going in straight away there goes some valkyries flying off the map straight away guys now there are four teslas on the left hand side of the base over there here comes the defending clan castle which is hopefully actually going to do some serious damage to his troops so here we go guys let's check out what's about to happen so we may actually have to remove the defending clan castle just to ensure that none of their troops actually get distracted and get drawn out of the actual serpent base so it looks like the hog riders are getting distracted going all the way up to the base but here come the valkyries now every single one of the troops is making their way into the serpent how far can they go up how high can he go he's up to 19 percent damage so far the valkyries seem to be melting the expos are literally tearing these troops into pieces the defending wizard tower has done some damage and there is the first attack over so you know what, I'm going to be completely fair guys, I am going to completely remove every single one of these uh, these defending clan castle troops because I also do not want them to distract and pull troops out of the snake, the serpent base. So we're going to get ourselves into the second life challenge. What I want you guys to do if you've made it this far into the episode, take a guess down below in that comment section, what is going to be the highest overall damage in the episode? Is anyone going to be able to three star it? Is anyone even going to be able to one star it? What will be the maximum percent? Will it be 69? Take your guess down below. So here we go, second challenge coming in. Who's going to be taking it on this time? Remember, there are no longer any defending clan castle troops inside of the base. So there are going to be a variety of Town Hall 7, 8, 9, 10, and of course Town Hall 11 attackers taking on this base. So make sure you stay tuned. It is only going to get better. So there are the Valkyries and the Golems going in straight away, guys. A couple of buildings which seem to actually be distracting the troops. But don't worry, there will be some higher level attacks, as I said. And hopefully we can see some of the attackers maybe make it all the way down here it depends though it really does depend what kind of spells and what kind of troops they bring into the battle so check it out the hog riders making their way up the snake base those expos are actually drawing in the valkyries guys the valkyries are getting drawn into the center of the base there are going to be at least 
another five or six people to take this on, how much percent can the best person get? So the Valkyries are inside of the center. The defending queen just got destroyed by that attacking level 10 king. That is insane. That king done so much damage. But my level 31 king is actually there ready to take him on. He's got a couple of barbarians and a couple of minions left. Now we actually need the attackers to clear out the, uh, the first pocket so that they can funnel their troops into the snake and hopefully make it up at least towards where that eagle artillery is. So the second battle ends, 24% total damage. No one has surpassed 40% yet. Can anyone get that high? So we're going to go in for another challenge. Let's see who's going to be taking it on this time. Here we go. So who is going to be taking it on? Let's go in for the live attack, guys. Lewis will be taking on the base. Here we go. Level 25, 24 heroes. Very decent level heroes. He's going to start by funneling in the troops into the snake. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be absolutely awesome. So he's dropped earthquake spells on the expos. Not quite sure why he's done that. But let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. Where are the air mines? I swear there was air mines inside of there. Maybe he dropped a healer when I wasn't looking. So check it out. The expo has already connected onto that first wizard. But Lewis is being very smart here. Clearing out these buildings. And then he will be sending in the Valkyries so they don't get distracted. Wizards are flying, though. Here we go, Lewis's army is coming in nice and hot. He's going to be dropping down the first rage spell. That queen is going to get obliterated. She got absolutely obliterated, but the bombs are going off. There goes the heal spell, though. Lewis is going to be dropping in that second rage spell, I'm guessing, very shortly. Or is he going to save it? He's being very smart here. Lewis being the smart cookie of the bunch so far. He's got a rage spell. The heal spell's down. They are going to destroy that level 31 king. Rage spell has just been dropped down. Here go the Valkyries, guys. Are they going to make it onto the Inferno Towers? There are so many Larry traps around here. Big bombs are going off, but the Inferno Towers have melted the rest of Lewis's Valkyries. But that was an amazing attack. Check it out, guys. Look how far he came along the snake. He definitely done a lot of damage there. So far, Lewis is in the lead. 31% or 30% total damage. Will that last expo go down? So the expos don't look like they're going down. Check out the range on that, though. So Lewis just ended there. A total of 30% damage, but massive shout out to Lou. That was an awesome attack. So who's coming up next? Who is going to be attacking the base next? Let's check it out. Check it out. Is anyone going to take it on? Here we go, guys. It is going to be Andy, and he is using 43 miners. So this is going to be interesting. What is Andy going to do here? Check it out, guys. Andy's going to drop in his queen. I have no idea what's going to happen. I've got a feeling Andy is going to do very well inside of this base. As long as the miners stay with the snake and make their way around and not through the center, then Andy could actually be winning himself a $50 gift card. So check it out, guys. He's going to do exactly what Lewis done. He is going to drop in some, uh, some heroes and, of course, clear the first little box there. So the wizards are going to go flying just like they did all the time by those spring traps. The king is actually... Here we go, guys. He's dropping in the miners. 42 miners coming into the base. Some have already gone flying from the spring traps, guys. What is going to go on here? Let's see what happens. So don't forget, once they reach the Inferno Towers is where the game really starts to get serious. So these miners making their way around the base. It looks like this is doing a great job so far, but those expos in the center could prove to be the thing which takes down these miners. Here we go, guys. He still has two heal spells remaining, one heal spell remaining. How far can Andy get inside of the base? Wow, those miners are obliterating every single one of my defenses. Is Andy gonna be the first person to win the gift card? So, of course, those Inferno Towers. Here we go, guys. Those Inferno Towers are actually going to melt a lot of those miners. But he's got that last heal spell down, which is doing so much healing towards those miners, guys. But it looks like they're actually getting destroyed there. Check out those level 14 cannons. They are going to go to work on the miners now. They are going to rip those miners into pieces. Andy is making it so far down into the base. This is looking absolutely awesome, guys. He's going to be taking out those Archer Towers very quickly. There is still a massive horde of miners left, but this is where they're in trouble. The Expos, the Wizard Towers, the Archer Towers, the Cannons, every single thing ripping them into pieces. But wow. So I don't know if it is actually possible to make it to the end of the snake, but that was definitely the best attack so far. Andy finished on 35%. So here we go, Nick's challenger going to come in. Let's check it out. Who's going to be taking it on? It is going to be... Ewan is about to take on the base. He's using Barbarians, Archers, and a Barbarian King. This is hilarious. So loads are going to go flying straight away, I'm guessing. From the spring traps, check it out, guys. Archer's going to be dropped in now as well. Those Expos have some insane range on them. I don't know how far they can actually go, but that is some pretty damn insane range. Check out the spring traps, guys. These Barbarians are going to go flying all over the place. 
and his army's pretty much dead. So this video is definitely going to be longer than usual, guys. Not sure how long it will be, but it's probably going to be at least 20 minutes in length. Now, please do not forget to leave a like on this video if you do want to see more episodes just like this. We are, I think, one of the only YouTubers who does these sorts of troll-based videos, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel and, of course, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with more of them. So, next challenge coming in. Next challenge coming in. Yeah, let's see what happens here, guys. So, who's going to take it on this time? Here we go. Blake Kutza. He's going to be attacking using... Wow, okay, he's got decent level heroes, but I'm not sure why he's brought so many healers and so many archers and wall breakers. But here we go, guys. So he's going to drop in an archer to begin with. The archer's obviously going to... Oh, damn! That healer just got destroyed. But of course, he knew that those air bombs and air mines were there. And now he's going to drop the rest of the healers on the outside. So that queen is definitely going to be clearing up some of those buildings. He's going to be clearing some of the buildings using the archers. Now, this is okay, guys. Don't worry. I know he hasn't spawned inside of the square, but it doesn't matter. The archers are eventually going to have to make their way into the actual snake anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. The queen is about to clear the final building, and then the heroes, I'm guessing he's going to be dropping down the king, are about to start to make their way up the snake. So let's see how far he can go. So he's already used the first rage spell. The queen is going to be taking on my defending queen. Which one is going to overcome? Here comes the king to back her up, guys. The two heroes took out my queen nice and easy, but those four expos are destroying the king he's about to go down his barbarians have been wasted they're in a wasteland right now check out all those dead bodies guys the queen is about to go down there was no surviving for her and now the healers have only got healers well, all they've got to heal is archers but they're gonna get taken out very shortly i'm guessing by the eagle artillery they're all bunched up very close together He's still got those archers making their way into the center. The Expos are going to do damage right now, guys. Check it out. Splash damage coming in from the Eagle Artillery as well. And it looks like the final troops are fading. So if you've made it this far into the episode, let's go for 10,000 likes on this video, guys. Total damage, 19%. But of course, we are about to make our way into another challenge. So here we go. They are not stopping. Can anyone win themselves a $50 gift card? Is it even possible? Or is this base, is the snake too much? So Smithy, at sound all nine, is about to take on the base using peckers, golems, heroes, and of course, a variety of different spells. The baby dragon got wasted instantly. I, I, mean, I presume he actually done that on purpose and sacrificed the poor baby dragon to ensure that the healers and the queen could take out the initial buildings so check it out the queen the king the wizards they're clearing those structures guys i love this expo you know what i absolutely love you expo we're, we're gonna name you freddy freddy the killer freddy the mercenary so freddy is doing a great job connecting onto the king but of course the healers are there for now check out the peckers though guys this is gonna be an interesting one the first person to attack the snake bait base using peckers so we got four teslas on the outside of the base let's see how far these peckers can go so the healers just sustained a massive amount of damage there from some air mines and air bombs there goes the actual heal spell guys the healers are getting taken out but they just managed to survive there the healer just hang on to its little day life so here we go another rage spell has been dropped down the eagle artillery is going to fade very quickly he's got a free spell remaining is he going to be dripping the free spell on the Inferno Towers, guys? Let's wait and see what happens. So here we go. Double free spell. Going to get both of the Inferno Towers. But of course, Larry's are about to distract the Peckers. And they won't be able to take out the second one in time. Can they get through those Larry's? Yes, they can. Check it out, guys. Smithy is actually doing a great job on this base. He's up to 32% so far. He's closing in on the lead. So, of course, that last Pekka doesn't have a hope in hell. There she goes, guys. There she goes. And Smithy is going to drop the last couple of wall breakers. And he ends with a total of 33%. Not bad, especially for a town all nine. So next challenger coming in, who is going to take on the base? This is definitely going to be one of the longest episodes. So here we go. Let's watch it live, guys. It is going to be King Torch taking it on using very high level hog riders, healers, golems, and heroes. So this is going to be interesting. Why is it lagging? There we go, guys. There we go. So I'm guessing he's going to do a similar thing and maybe clear the initial buildings. Nope, he's going in straight with a golem, guys. So the golem is going to get targeted by the four expos, I believe, very shortly. And the Teslas. I believe that golem is gone. Check it out, guys. The golem is about to get destroyed very early on. The uh, three or four expos connected onto it. Now the Valkyries are going to sustain some damage. But here we go, guys. He's got heal spells. He's got rage spells. And, of course, he's got a jump spell, which, you know, I did say you're not allowed to use it. But it can't really do much anyway. So check it out. Is he even going to use his army, guys? What's happening? He hasn't used a single spell. Here we go. 
Using a rage spell and a jump spell and a heal spell. He's got a single rage spell left. There goes the poison, guys. Air mines are going to come up. Air bombs are going to come up. It looks like the healers are going to get wasted there. The defending queen, sorry, the attacking queen getting targeted by those expos. That is just so damn insane. Those expos are ridiculously powerful. They're going to take out that king in seconds. The eagle artillery gets a cheeky shot in there and his army's wasted. So he's got a single barbarian, that's going to get taken out guys, and of course the raid is over. So he got a total of 19%, wasn't one of the best ones, but let's make our way into the next challenge. Here we go, who is it going to be? It's going to be the young Rocket, he's going to be taken on using Valkyries, Golems, one hero, and of course a variety, a little pick and mix of spells. Some male spells, a rage spell, a poison, and a quake. So let's check it out guys, once again, going to be clearing the initial buildings. Now the only reason why I put those buildings there is because I couldn't put them anywhere else. There was nowhere else where there was actually room and if I'd put them in the center they would have distracted troops and if I'd put them there they would have also distracted any troops which made it all the way to the mortars. So check it out guys. His army. Wow. His army. His wizard army at least has been destroyed. So check it out. The wizards are not even one of them made it through there but here come the Valkyries guys. Those initial spring traps are brutal. They are beasts. You definitely need to bring a couple of barbarians to take out the initial ones. Check out those balloons, guys. Getting taken out very quickly in simultaneous order. It's like an airstrike. The airstrike was actually on the balloons, though. Not one balloon made it through to that second Tesla. So the Eagle Artillery is being a beast. It's being brutal. This is warfare here, guys. Not one of their troops has really made it through. In fact, I think this was the most brutal defense yet. The Barbarian King gets destroyed. And the Barbarians fade very quickly. So he's got an Earthquake spell and a Poison spell. That was all that was remaining. And I think that is actually the end of the attack, guys. Check it out. Any troops remaining? Has he got any troops? No. Nope. Why is it still carrying on? There we go, guys. The battle has just ended a total of 18%. Shout out to the Young Rocket. So here we go. I think Jose is about to take on the base. Let's check it out, guys. What's it going to be? Jose is going to be using... Oh, my God. Baby dragons. Okay, this is going to be cool, guys. Now, he knows there are baby... Uh, he knows there are... What is it called? Air mines and air bombs around the actual arrow. So what is he going to do here? Let's check it out. So he's dropped in lightning spells. Okay, very interesting. Lightning and earthquake spells completely destroyed loads of the defenses there. Now, the only problem he's going to have is that the baby dragons are no longer going to funnel up the stake. I think they're actually going to go across to the center where the expos are. So this could be an interesting attack. You know what, though? He's allowed to do that. It's all legal. If he manages to beat the snake, then he will still win a $50 gift card. But of course, he has no spells left. But the beautiful thing about the baby dragons is that they rage themselves up once they're on their own. So if he can spread them out, then he could find himself taking on the snake and possibly beating it. I have no idea what these baby dragons are capable of, guys. Check it out. There goes the first one. So it's under rage already. Of course, it's on its own. There go a couple of air bombs, air mines. Still haven't come up. There goes the air mine, guys. And the air bomb does some damage to the baby dragons. This is where it's going to get interesting. 22 baby dragons taking on the serpent, taking on the snake. The queen goes down very quickly. There goes the grand warden, of course, as well. And there goes the Tesla. Are they going to go for the expo? Half have gone for the expo. Half have gone for the Tesla. This is cool, guys. This is a very cool defense. Check out that eagle artillery. That needs to get taken out very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to do a lot of splash damage to the baby dragons. Look how quickly that is about to go down. Baby dragons tearing it into pieces. But of course, look at that. They've just died. Every single one of them died in the center. One of the best attacks so far. So the baby dragons have taken him up to 28%. In fact, it looks like Jose is going to get into the lead here, guys. Now, he has to be 35, which was the initial highest, I think, so far. But it looks like he's up to 30. Can these baby dragons do it? Nope, they've run into the Inferno Towers. This is where they needed free spells and a rage spell, guys. But of course, he doesn't have any spells. And the Air Sweeper is causing him trouble. There goes the Air Defense, guys. That final Air Defense and the second Air Sweeper now blowing those baby dragons away. And it looks like it's going to win there. I must admit, though, that was very impressive. So I believe this is the last attack of the episode. It is Wreck Ball and he is going to be using Bowler's Giants, a strategy which we haven't yet seen attack this base. So this, as I said, is going to be the final attack, guys. This episode has been a lot longer than usual, but don't forget, these are my favorite videos to make. So if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. Let me know if you want to see some more troll bases just like this. If you do, then suggest some names and I will try and create a base around the name. So obviously, this is the snake, the serpent. This was, as I said, inspired by my clanmate Jasu. And of course, it is definitely 
probably my favorite troll base that we've done on the channel so far. So let me know a name down below and I will try and make a troll base out of the name. So he's going to be dropping in those giants and of course those bowlers very shortly. The queen is about to clear the last few buildings. There they go guys and now the rest of the army should just absolutely spam into the base. So there goes the king. The Giants, the Bowlers, the Archers, the Wizards, here come the Bowlers right now. Let's see how high he can go guys, how much percent can he get? There goes the Eagle Artillery doing the first bit of damage to the uh, the loads of troops there. Wow, okay, so Double Big Bomb goes off. Actually a great Big Bomb because his Bowlers didn't get damaged at all. Now he's going to need to use and save that Rage Spell for the actual Inferno Towers. If he can save the Rage Spell for the Inferno Towers, those Bowlers have been a little bit cheeky. Then he could find himself in a great position. Nope, he's used it way too early, guys. He has used the Rage Spell too early, and it looks like the Giants are going to melt from these Inferno Towers. Big Bombs are about to go off, and of course, destroy the rest of the army. So I will see you very shortly in a couple of hours' time for another video, guys. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Peace out.